everybody, today I have a new story called My Monster and Me. I think this might be one of our characters. This is my monster and this is me. I've always known my monster. It's always been there. It knows all about me. Maybe my monster arrived when I did. Maybe it moved in when I learned to walk and talk. I don't remember. It was always big when it stood in front of me. I could see nothing but its huge tummy. At night, when I lay in my bed, I could hear nothing but its ginormous, growly snore. <laughs> I wanted my mum to take it away, but my, when mum was there, the monster would hide. I wish my brother could take it away, but my monster hid again. I wanted dad to take it away, but it hid from him too. My monster got bossier. It started telling me what to do. When I was getting dressed and brushing my teeth, when I wanted to play with my toys, it just sat on me. It even made me stay indoors when my friends came to play. How do you think the little boy is feeling? I wanted to go out and join them, but the monster stood in the way and wouldn't budge. One day my monster was waiting for me after school. It was gigantic and it was in a bad mood. I tried to lose it, but I couldn't. It followed me all the way to my grand's house. Gran asked me what was wrong. This little boy is upset now, he's crying. In the end, I told her how my monster just wouldn't go away. It wouldn't ever leave me alone. Gran listened quietly. And suddenly, my monster stopped what it was doing and listened too. It seemed to me that I t when I talked, my monster got smaller and smaller and smaller. And then I knew... I could make my monster go away. The next day, I saw my monster at school. It looked a bit lost, so I picked it up and put it in my pocket. I stroked its fur and it went to sleep. It wasn't as scary anymore. I don't worry about my monster so much these days. I go into school and play with my friends. My monster likes my pocket and I feel okay knowing it's there. But if I ever feel like it's getting out, I tell it to behave. My monster is part of me. We've known each other from the beginning. This is me. And this is my monster. Four Leaf Clover. Our story is over. Today we've read My Monster and Me. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. See you soon. Bye.